Hi, you're in a plant right now. Oh. Okay. So it's not often that I am able to upload a video. I am a new mother and I don't get around to really finishing the videos quite as frequently as I would like. And that can lead to me honestly getting kind of worried that when I do put out something that I've been holding on to for so long that I spent hours, days, if not weeks every now and then um, working on, I get a little bit worried that once I put it out, it's just going to get washed away in the flood of all the content that's being posted every single day. And it will. And the thing is, <sighs> that's okay. I guess this video is a little bit about me making peace with that because my purpose is not to be <laughs> yeah, we because my purpose is actually not to be discovered by the masses that's that's not the point i think it's okay to post something and it only be seen by five people 30 people 60 people whatever because people are not numbers. I think with the internet now where millions of people are able to post their opinions, their skills, their all that kind of stuff, you know, all the time. And then millions of other people are able to respond to all of that and consume it. It's easy to see things just in stats. It reminds me of that old quote, and I can't remember who said it, that if one person dies, it's a tragedy. If a million people die, it's a statistic. That would be Joseph Stalin who said that. And I think that can be turned to good things as well. Where if you're able to share your skill or a story or your thoughts on something with one person, then you feel like you've accomplished something. You feel like you, you may feel like you've really done something let alone if it was like a room of five people if it was a room of 60 people you may be terrified to share it but then after doing so you'd be like wow look at me go i've really done something with my life here <laughs> but post the same thing online and 60 people suddenly feels like failure it suddenly feels like there's nobody who cares nobody's paying attention and maybe you get a few bots commenting on your videos and you're like okay you know why am i even doing this i guess i just want to say whoever you are however you found your way here i'm glad you're here because i know you're a person and it's silly it really is to think that because i know there are so many people using youtube and only a handful have found my video that does not diminish the handful that finds my video i know that i'm kind of stating the obvious but i think sometimes the obvious needs to be stated because we can undervalue these things until they stop becoming obvious. And then it's like you have to relearn that people are people and that, you know, it matters. But there's also one other reason that I continue to create, no matter how big or small my viewership is, how many of you guys, you know, stick around to watch more, or if you just saw one thing and you bump off or whatever, there's one reason that I keep putting stuff out there and I really just plan to keep doing it as long as I am physically able to is because I believe, especially as a, a Bible believing Christian, that our gifts have purpose and whatever you have, if it's you have the gift of teaching or you have the gift of encouragement or you have the gift of um, singing or building or math math is a gift my God. okay math okay whatever it is that you've been gifted with is worth something and worth sharing and it doesn't matter how many different people have that gift you are the only one who will have it in the way that you have it with your brain and your soul behind it and there are specific people who need to receive what you have so i believe our gifts are given to us from god for the sake of edifying one another, of helping each other through hard times, of encouraging each other. And sometimes it's as simple as, like for me, I love to encourage other people to use their gifts. That's a big part of what I feel like my purpose is, is just, hey, I'm just gonna do what I love to do and what I feel like I was made to do. And I think you should too. I don't think it's a very unique view, but I think sometimes that that thought can get a little lost
and people trying to become a big deal themselves. So when you watch my videos, I hope you are inspired to create or to do whatever it is that you feel you were made to do. And I hope you get to relax and just enjoy seeing something change like a piece of furniture or a room or something come to life like a painting or a sketchbook drawing or something like that. And instead of thinking at any point like, oh, she can do something I can't do, I hope it makes you think about what can I do? I want to go do that. I hope that my videos can remind you in some way that our world is beautiful and it's worth enjoying and it's worth exploring and there's a lot going on and I do a lot more things than just what you see in the videos, but um, these are the things that are easiest to share. While it may seem disconnected from my videos, my prayer is really that the Lord would reveal himself to you in the beauty and in the just the amazingness of the world he created and that you would value that more than anything and that you would respond with gratitude and humility and friendship because that's really what he wants from us. Okay, that's all.